Okay, friend of the channel, fellow YouTuber, Rev, uh, was taking a look at some LMP stuff, and uh, he's stuck in flatty vision, and uh, asked if I'd do a little bit of uh, a VR and have a look at them, so without further ado, there you go, welcome to the world of claustrophobia, my friend, it is tiny in here, so we are LMP one in it, Multi-class field, LMP2's in here, LMP900's in here, all from Fred's Wondrous Stable. Now the LMP1 has, in the past couple of days, had an update to its brakes and I think chassis. So we'll uh, have a look how things feel as we go on for these five laps. So far so crazy. And we'll uh, have a quick look at the car here. So the first thing you uh, notice in VR is it is tiny in here. I feel like I'm stuffed in a, don't know, wardrobe of some sort. I've done this again. Sorry, me pressing the wrong button. Resume. Press the right button. That's better. Engage curves. So with that bit of a faux pas, I need to change that curves button to position. Keep pressing the uh, pause button instead. Whoa! Big lock up at the end there. Got to modulate them brakes. So as we look around the car, we've got this sensor stay here with a head bollard on it. One on the door. Literally there, there. That's how much room I've got. Over the other side, we've got some trips and fuses. Uh, in front of me, the only thing I've got is this camera just above eye level. And uh, a steering wheel full of information. The main thing on it, and good to see, because everything is bouncing around like crazy in here, is that big white line on the right. And when I hit the curves, you'll see it go down. So we absolutely wreck the competition with a bit more speed. That's a second. Just got it stopped. go um, yeah so we've got this great big long dashboard disappearing off a box of electronics on the right some cabling some filtering oh there's all sorts there you go it's like uh, whoa. MTV Cribs this welcome to my crib wardrobe so I've got that um, camera right in front of me just above me <coughs> but because VR is 3D and it works on where your eyes are focused my eyes obviously are focused on those two cars up there just like in real life that camera up there I can't really see because my eyes aren't focused on it because it's virtually there and eyes don't work that way with multi-focusing levels so if I want to look at that camera I can see it, but if I want to actually look in it, I'm going to have to focus my eyes on it. And that was me doing it then. I don't have to move my head. I literally just focus my eyes on it. I can see a white car behind me. As soon as I do that, everything in front of me is out of focus because I'm not looking at it. So it may look quite helpful, but honestly, it's not. <laughs> It says me looking out there, but to be honest, I'm quite used to looking out there with my head. Anyway, the cars, the cars themselves are super responsive, but the brakes, when you get down to the bottom, just let me uh, knock my traction control down to two, which is normally where I have it, it's better. So the brakes, you've got to be so gentle on when the speed comes up. You can give them a good old poke at speed and they will stop you like anchors. But as that speed rubs off, so we get the right button this time. There we go, back on the uh, curves. So as the speed rubs off and you're getting down below kind of 50 mile an hour, you're literally just caressing that brake pedal. Whoa, whoa, okay. 
That's what I was talking about, the brakes. Locked up at the back so easy then at the end. Luckily just caught it. Don't know where I was looking then, I was just looking over there. So it caught my eye. A woodpecker. Oh right, where am I gonna go here? Of course when you get these cars that are so quick um, reactions start to take over from planned actions I'm reacting to the car a lot more than I normally would and that leaves me less time to actually uh, plan stuff if that makes any sense I am not a professional driver this is a simulator and like most of us real world non-superhumans uh, driving something with this much going on is an absolute handful I did hit the brakes then and thought I'd taken enough off and I haven't because my brain isn't aware that quick just looking for gaps but there's a gap whoa gosh Close, close the door, well and truly there. Just checking the mirror seat, making sure that guy wasn't coming in. We'll have another squirt here. The old electricery. Let the electric pixies out of the bag. They've all gone, they've all run off. The air of the car just feels super, super smooth and grippy. Uh, but once that, once that air has gone, it just feels like a complete mess, as you can imagine. Uh, the contrast between uh, aero and non-aero uh, is huge. And you've got to kind of be ready for that. Just getting a massive. Uh, Something going on with the audio. He's had a play with the audio as well. Seem to be battling here with the Toyota GT1. What position are we in? Seven. Okay, so the other cars have left me behind because I've got stuck behind these two guys to try and get rid of them and get up the road. So I hit six. I've now got to hit my electric pixie button. See ya. It's me maxing out at goodness knows what. Can't see spell 332 kilometres an hour. That's quick enough, isn't it? Just let the car go where it wants to go, are we? Need to break the top of this guy. Using the electric pixies again. I'm out of electric pixies. 22. It's all over me again. All over me. A little squirt of electric pixie juice. That's cleared him out a bit until the next corner. Yeah, it's really it's the engine's bogged down without that. Uh, Electric charge at the top end in seventh. Whoa. Looking too many places then. Sight of the road. So yeah, other things in here. <laughs> Tour of <laughs> Oh he's come back. Oh no. Okay, Tour of the Crib. We've got a wire running up. I think it's comms wire or something to that box over there on the right. Lots of little things going on. Catch him on the brakes here. Ooh, back stepping out just ever so slightly. It's a second, nice and tight. 
maximising the exit. Give it a squirt of pixie juice before we get into the uh, technical bit up here. We're out of pixie juice. Load up. Yeah, load up. Oh jeepers. Absolutely loading up the air all there. Keep it, keep keeping it just in the ballpark where I've got some. And I can push on. And that is absolutely uh, catapulting me through that section. And this is where you've got to be careful. Because you can break and lose the car. Just by sneezing. Okay, we're on lap uh, four now. Moving on. I've got it on real weather. I'm tend to be rubbing that a lot later. So I've no idea what the uh, track temperature is because I'm not that technical. Just pushing it now. I'm just trying to push into that aero zone where I can just go around corners at stupid speeds like that. Fifth. Wow. See if we can't catch somebody up in front. It's me maxed out 348. Battery juice is out. 333 speed, 330 speed dropping off now. So I'm getting a really nice tight feeling on this. Uh, LMP1, I think it's the Audi I'm driving, no it's not some Toyota, it says so there, so, <laughs> I'm driving the Toyota, um, I'm getting a really nice tight feedback of what's coming back to me, Whoa. of course if I drop into first like an idiot, then I'm going to lock the back up man. Concentrate, Owen. If you don't concentrate, this car will, will just throw you in the top of a tree. Cross we go. Break braking, down to second, big lock up at the end. Car just gets all shapes. Gather it up, luckily pointed in the right direction. Don't put it in, don't, right now I can hit curves because anything below fifth gear is just going to spin it. I spin the wheels up. Big chuck in. Okay. Let's have a giggle. Oh, lights. Smallest curved white plate. Excellent. Okay, brave, are we brave? Be brave. to these mods as well, these are very early um, Fred from the Flash mods um, but have been updated regularly as time progresses and of course these have been updated about two days ago so nice and fresh um, so I'll leave a link in the description below for these 
fantastic to drive, as you would expect. Okay, using the curves. But they, uh, they do require a whole different skill set to drive them. That's a jump off the brake, and I thought it was going to run in the back of me. in VR, if you're claustrophobic, don't bother. You'll be uh, running screaming from this one. This, this, the, the cabin is tiny. Look at the driver's position as well. He's all cramped over to the middle. Turning, braking, going down the gears like a fiddle his elbow. Where is he? I've seen to have lost him. I don't know. Did he crash? Wow. Okay, something happened. He's not hiding at the side, is he? No. Paranoia striking in there. Keep it smooth, Owen. Keep it smooth. Last little bit. Going at incredible, stupid speeds. My head doesn't really want to work at. Give me an MX-5 any day, my friend. Whoa, gosh. But still. Fantastic experience to drive. Cares over the line. Just light the rears up. Alright. I've been Owen, that's been Limon. This has been a Toyota. And uh, thanks for watching. And we came last in class, but sixth overall. Um, so we continue our, um, our quest. Or quest, shall we say, to get Rev into VR. Adios.